Hi, my name is Jeff Pagano, and welcome to the Harpen and Rugby Preview Show. And join me to look ahead to Leinster's latest URC assignment, someone back earning his 92nd cap. Warm welcome back to Mr. Neil Kigo Keegan. Good morning, good afternoon. It's been a week of Mondays. I am happy to talk to you. It is indeed. And uh, what did you make of the win over the Dragons last week? Yeah, I enjoyed Like It's an early early season game. Scoreline, obviously, is, is all we're going to remember, which is fine. But... Um, there were a couple of moments where a better team would have done a better job uh, against us, but it's over now. Points are in the bank, and I think this weekend is is where the season actually starts. Yeah, well, I mean, considering the situation, it was at uh, it was at the Viva Stadium. Um, and I mean, um, against the Dragons for the opening game of the season, it was just the lower tier, which makes the stadium kind of cavernous. And for the first half to be so, I mean, our attacks just weren't getting, um, you know, I mean, there, there was what, there was like 18,000 there, which would have packed the RDS. Yeah. Um, but it was just, it, that kind of contributed to sort of a weird atmosphere in, in the first half. But they got going in the second half. There were some good good displays. Uh, your man Finton Gunn did well coming off the bench. There was a lot of a lot of positives. They got the five points and no one is going to remember that game come the end of the season. So, um, uh, you know, you could you could easily say job done for sure. Okay, so um, now it's time to look at our feature match of the week, which is, of course, Benetton v. Leinster in round three of the 24-25 BKT United Rugby Championship. The game is taking place at the Stadio Manigo in Treviso on Saturday, October the 5th, kicking off at 5.15 p.m. Irish time. TV coverage is on RTE2, Premier Sports 1, and, of course, URC.tv. Leinster named their match day squad on Friday. If you're watching on YouTube, it should be right there in the screen. Or for pod listeners, it's in the program notes. Kigo's picked out a couple of things he wants to talk about. But first of all, the big boys are back. Absolutely. This is beautiful. So as we were talking about, we kind of tiptoed into the season last week. Um, uh, you know, obviously the scoreline was great. But this week, this is when the, this is when the season actually starts. And a big, big call. Snyman starting. Um, and we've got low back, we've got Frawley in at 10. Like, we're really starting to move into the season a little bit quicker than maybe in recent years. So, like, uh, you know, uh, and we're not taking Benetton lightly. We're going out there. Uh, we, we know the D4 heads love heading over there for a, for a, for a weekend, but it's going to be, a, you look at the front row, we got Porter Callagher and Furlong back. The Furlong question was coming up, you know, mid uh, last season, but he's in, he's starting, which is great. Um, and look, Joe McCarthy, right, right in there in the middle beside Big Snyman. and it's going to be, it's going to be fr- great viewing. It's going to be brilliant. The start of the season is this weekend. I'm not ashamed to say I'm enough of a rugby nerd that pretty much week in, week out at 12 o'clock on Team Announcement Day, I'm there refreshing the um, the website to, 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 to find out the information at the earliest possible moment. And uh, I have to say, when this team came out, I was expecting a lot of frontline players. But I mean, first of all, your eyes are drawn to number 10, uh, Kieran Frawley. Okay, we've been talking a lot about him playing there. and uh, But then you then when you've gotten over that, you look around the rest of the team, you're basically going, wow, at every number. Only to go back to ten and say wow again all over again. It's 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 an amazing um, uh, selection. The, the first fifteen and um, yeah, it's uh, and as for Snyman, I mean we've been you know we we all know about his injury. We all know the injury profile he had when he was down at Munster. So we're going to be watching. We're we're happy to see him in a Leinster jersey. We're looking forward to seeing him, him and Joe McCarthy in the second row. It's yeah. like wow, but it will, every carry, every lift, and every lineup will be going play. You know, be uh, catching religion real quick as well, but. Um, Listen, it's 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 an amazing it's an amazing lineup for sure. And but of course, you know the selection is one thing, but you're, for your second point, you're like it's time to be Leinster now. It's not just about yeah. the uh, selection itself. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think you know what we've learned over the last couple of seasons, certainly with the South African teams coming in and really getting used to everything to do with the URC travel, all that sort of stuff. Um, we have no time to settle into a competition. Um, we don't want to be going away at the end of the season. We want as many home games as we can in that massive stadium in town. And I, I feel that, the, you know, with all due respect to our opposition last week, you pointed it out, they finished 15th. You know, we knew what was going to happen. We just needed to put in a bit of a shift, which there were moments of that. This week, we need to be, we need to start quick. We need to start heavy, aggressive, and really put a marker out from this weekend. And I think that t- that's why the team is there. That's why that selection is there. They're out there to do a job. Uh, and I think the season starts a little bit earlier than usual. Yeah, I mean, we've been watching the um, the Emerging Ireland uh, tour out in uh, South Africa, and a lot of our players have gone to there. But I think 
I don't think we were picking this team because of that tour. I think it's the other way around. I think they they felt they could organize the tour because we have to change our thinking about yeah. the kinds of teams we pick in September and October and and start the season early. We 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 said you know how important every point's going to be, how big a season this is for Leinster, given the way the last three have gone, and we need to go heavy. Of course, there's a big game at Croke Park next week, so we we'll want to get some rugby into the legs here. Also interesting, we've gone for the six two bench. Mm-hmm. Um, young Finton Gunn, who, who, like we say, played really well last week. He's there. We'd be excited to see him um, come on uh, towards the end. And Ross Byrne, they're the only two backs. Scott Penny is, is wearing 23. So there's a lot of uh, scope for, um, you know, full 80-minute uh, performance. You know, so it's a really, really fascinating team. Can I just yeah. throw one more thing in there? Because I know we sent in the, the points beforehand. But just as we're talking, I'm starting to realize, right, the plan for the year, we have our three tens. <laughs> Um, which is which is a bit it's a bit unfortunate for Harry at the moment, but like you know the season's going to change as we go. But I think what we've seen is you know unlike previous seasons where you know it's any one of four. I think we've seen our three already this year, um, and I think this is with, with Frawley popping in uh, this weekend. I think that, that's our three um, our three main tens for the year and going forward. They're they're all quite young as well. Even even Ross, even though he's been around for a long time, there's a bit of gas in the tank as well. Yeah, it's like first three weeks of the season. It's almost like an audition at three different tens and uh, to, to show show what they can do and how they can fit into what we want to do for sure. Okay, so now it's time to have a quick look at Benetton. They finished seventh in the URC last season, pushing the Bulls pretty close before following in their quarterfinal in Pretoria. Meanwhile, in the Challenge Cup, they got all the way to the semifinals where they lost to Gloucester. So far this season, they drew it home to Scarlets in round one before losing heavily to champions Glasgow last weekend, partly because of a red card to their Kiwi lock Scott Scrafton, for which he copped a four-week ban, meaning he misses the catch with Leinster. And finally, during the week, they announced the signing of former Argentinian skipper Augustine Creevy. Uh, he's set to join them later in October. He won't be playing this weekend what do you make of their lineup can you go yeah i love what's been happening over there for the last few years they've been improving slowly but surely and you know it's unfortunate they've lost uh they, they've lost himself for four weeks that's really really tough on them but they've, they've made a smart signing coming in soon similar to us uh in and around the christmas period halloween christmas period um they're at home you know I think Le- Le- Leinster have too much, far too much in the tank, but um, it's not going to be easy. That's why we need the big start. So they're going to go for it early, as all teams are going to start doing uh, against Leinster. They're going to go for it early. Uh, but yeah, like it, it's not week on week, we're going to be getting be- uh, better opposition. And they're a massive step up from, from last weekend. Yeah, I mean, despite losing Scrafton, I mean, Benetton are known for, for being strong in the pack. And, of course, they got Lamaro as their captain, Negri. There's a lot of names there. Plus, I mean, that's a, not a bad center pairing in Fekitoa and uh, Menoncello. Yep. Uh, so, you know, it, 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 you definitely can't be taking them for granted, like you say, especially at home. Um, but it's, you know, it's and, and it's so unusual that we're, it's not just the, the team we pick, but for an away match in round three in URC, it's just, uh, it's, it's almost unheard of, I think, uh, to be sending a team over. So, um but uh, they'll definitely be uh, fired. I mean, the, the better, the strong, you know, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, as they say. So, you know, Benetton will be even more um, mm-hmm. inspired maybe to, to, to get off to a good start. So we definitely can't uh, take it for granted. Okay, so the officials uh, for the match are uh, Craig Evans holding the whistle and uh, a couple of Italian uh, assistants with uh, Alan Griffiths and the TMO box. The weather for Treviso is, uh, well, it's great Italian weather. Saturday evening, mostly clear, um, you know, mild enough, uh, no wind, no rain, just what you want. You can't yeah, play just... rugby in those conditions <laughs> just in what October. You want. <laughs> okay, and uh, before we move on, we're just going to have a quick look at the rest of the URC schedule this weekend. It's full list of games now. The South African uh, teams that joined, joined the competition last week, and um, there's a full slate of games. Uh, which, which one catches your eye the most? There's still obviously Connacht every week. Love watching Connacht away, away to Scarlets. Um, massive week for Munster, which I don't think they were expecting and I don't think they were expecting so early in the season um, really let themselves down last weekend and they they will have said far worse things than I'm going to say in the next few minutes but like when you consider the team they were playing you know the team they were playing the team they selected um, there'll be a lot of reflection in that locker room so they they really need they're at home they need the Thoman Park uh, support to be full and loud be there early because uh, the Ospreys will fancy that. They will really, really fancy that after last weekend. Uh, and then Connacht away to Scarlets. Again, Connacht on, on momentum. Really, really great win for them last weekend. Um, I, I wish they were at home this weekend just to keep that momentum going. 
but again, their 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 heads are up. They're ready to rock, and you know, I fancy them to turn over Scarlets. Yeah, their team their team is looking really strong at the moment. They've they've got a really good squad there, and and of course Ulster as well. Um, have a, if they're on their South African trip, they're playing the Bulls. That'll be a tricky one for them. So we'll we'll see we'll see how they get on. Also, a, a quick shout out to the Irish women. That was an incredible win. I don't mind repeating it over and over again over New Zealand last weekend. Uh, best of luck in, to them in their second match versus Canada. It's a, it's a slightly better time for us watching. It's at eleven forty five p.m. kickoff uh, Irish time. It's going to be live on uh, Rugby Pass. Dot TV. There's a free free subscription to that. Um, Adele McMahon, skipper, is ruled out. So Anya Breen is is leading the team out, and Cleena Maloney gets a start. So that's that's a great uh, great great uh, completion to that arc for her. Um, but um, so best of luck to them, and uh, be sure to check it out if you can to get behind the girls. Okay, so back to our match. Benetton Leinster head on the block time. Akigo, how do you see it going? I'm trying to remember what I put in Super Brew. I'm on a roll now. Uh, I think I think I had Leinster plus ten. I think um, I I think there's more in there. I think it's I think it's going to be more. I'm just getting a little bit too conservative of my picks, but I do think it's a, it's a big win for Leinster. Um, I do think the the lads come through it. They put in a big shift, no injuries, and we roll into into Croker next week. That's definitely the expectations anyway. I mean, no disrespect to Benetton, but if you're going to pick that kind of team and we're going to be raving about what an amazing team it is, they do have to go out and perform. So those those will definitely be the expectations level, levels we'll be having. Okay, we're going to leave it there, man. Many thanks for joining us once again. Uh, what stand-up gigs do you have coming up? This very evening, I'm off to beautiful and glamorous Mullingar. As my mom used to say, if you can make it in Mullingar, you can make it anywhere. Jojo and territory. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Okay, that's great. And of course, you'll find all those links on all his latest gigs in the program notes. And uh, thanks to you all for checking out our latest preview show. If you can check out our weekly harp and slot on Dublin South FM right after the five o'clock news, then be sure to enjoy the match wherever you are. Leave a comment on our Facebook page after the full time whistle. And we will, of course, have a wrap pod for you this week recording on Sunday evening. Hopefully you'll help us out by liking, sharing and subscribing. In the meantime, stay safe, everyone. Slon.